And we're back. All right, so I don't know. I don't know if I have enough to talk about another fucking video, but I just don't get it, man. I really don't understand. Oh, let me let's try this again. I don't give a fuck what I'm talking about, but I just don't understand it, dude. And it's like the other day I'm coming home, coming home down the on the highway, and my exit's fucking Cloverleaf. And as I'm coming up on it, I can see there's five cars all coming down and there ain't now there isn't even one car length in between any one of these five cars now i don't understand it this is the problem is that people are so fucking just narcissistic and um i don't know just so fucking full of themselves and just don't give a fuck and, and have no regard for anybody else that they just they don't even i don't i think some people just don't even fucking take into account that hey you know what Somebody else might have to get off here as we're getting on. It is a fucking exit and an entrance ramp. And you got, like, what? Barely the, the, the width of the fucking road above you to switch places. And nobody leaves fucking room, dude. So as I'm coming up on these cars, I'm like, dude, it's either I'm going to have to just keep fucking going. And I'm going to be fucked anyways because all these cars are coming over. And they, they're not going to fucking fit because everybody's up everyone's ass. And it's like, I, I thought about trying to... Fucking force my way in here and hope for the best. I'm like, this ain't gonna work, man. So I had to punch the fucking gas and go. And I had my signal on ahead of time so people could see. Well, if they open their fucking eyes and pay attention, they could see as I'm coming around, you know, as they're coming around the thing, like, oh, hey, look. Oh, there's somebody gonna be getting off. And we're gonna tie them up right together. Maybe I should leave some fucking room. Nope. <laughs> nope. So at the last second, I had to just punch the fucking gas and just blow past everybody. And I was lined up with about the third car out of the five. And, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I just hit puberty the other day. Oh, the voice cracks. So, um, as I do this, the front car, they're not expecting me to blow past them. They're not. I don't have a fucking choice. Because even if I just continue on the highway, I couldn't get over to the next lane because everybody's up everyone's fucking ass there. Fuck it, man. Boom. God. Please. Go. Well, that first car started to come over. But thankfully, oh shit, they saw me. And as right as I passed them, I mean, we were already underneath the road. No, I'm sorry. Well, the road sits. You know, this is the road. I'm coming up underneath it. These cars are like right here, and I'm right here. <clears throat> Jesus, I think I did just hit puberty. <clears throat> so I come up underneath, and I didn't get over into that lane until right about here. Once I pass, I pass them right as I'm like right, you know, right here, and then just dove over. And like it was like the way I had to cut the wheel was I didn't have to get over into a straight lane and then start curving. Like I just had to cut it with that curve of, of that. that that ramp. What the fuck is wrong with people, man? Why does nobody realize these days that you need room fucking between you and another car when you're getting on any fucking highway or off any highway? Put fucking distance between you and other cars. You know, it's like situations like that. Like, it, <clears throat> If I'm, you know, if there's a car in front of me, I'm in that lane waiting to get over and underneath the highway to jump off. I will purposely slow down off of the car that's in front of me if someone's riding my ass. Because that way, when that crucial moment comes, you know, the fucking point of no return, I've backed myself up far enough off of this car that at the right moment I could punch the gas and get perfectly in between these two cars and then make my way over, you know. It's like, I don't want just three cars piled up and just everybody get over at once or whatever the fucking case. So, I will purposely just ease back, ease back, ease back, ease back. And then right when I have to fucking, as I'm watching the cars, because I watch these motherfuckers. As soon as I can see this ramp off in the distance, I'm watching. I'm watching for cars that are coming down. You know, most people wait till the fucking last second to go. Oh shit, there's cars here. I'm watching all as far down the road as I can see it. I'm constantly keeping an eye on that road and seeing who's coming around. There's fucking weeds growing up in between me and that lane. So sometimes it's kind of hard in the summertime to see cars. So 
I'm watching and watching. And I, as I see these cars coming, I mean, these things are like, these cars are just barely started that circle. And I'm already, like, adjusting my speed to tie myself up fucking perfectly to fucking crisscross people. I don't ever see anybody else do that. You know how many fucking accents I'm going to see all the time? Now, getting on the highway. I may have mentioned this before. <coughs> <laughs> I may have mentioned this before, but uh, right before, <clears throat> damn man, that's serious. I feel like I'm losing my voice. Right before, I was really loud at my job tonight, my second job. I was fucking singing and it's just like Marvin Gaye and some Lou Rawls and um, Sam and Dave, and I'm just fucking just bellowing out some fucking songs as I'm working along. We had a whole bunch of people in the dining room. <laughs> So, I just want to put on a show for him. I like to do that. Um, but anyways, it's taking its toll on me now. <clears throat> but uh, right before you get on, on the highway, like if you're heading east and you're going to go south, you have to, like right, there's a light right fucking before it. I mean, right there. Gas station, this intersection is busy as fuck. And there's a ton of cars because not only is the gas station, there's a neighborhood right behind it, and you got a road that comes straight out of it, so like, the main road's here, there's one of those perfect tee off on it, and then right before it, there's a side road, like a frontage road that runs off to some businesses and way off in that neighborhood. So, you got, uh, as soon as you go through this light, that outside lane just doubles in width. So, uh, this side of the light, it's perfect lane, two lane widths, and then the turn lane for the left turn. And I mean, literally, once you cross that road, on the other side, like the other curb, is a full car width over so that you, I mean, the second you go through that light, you just ease on over and you're off, okay? So, now on this shit, everybody's a fucking blame. Both cars are to blame for this shit because. For one, I don't ever even bother using my signal there. I wait, pass that light, and then I get over. And by that point, I mean, unless there's somebody just up my ass and I'm just gonna fucking let them know so they don't try to shoot around me like a fucking asshole. Um, I just aren't, for that particular spot, I don't use my signal because, and I always fucking, I mean, your signals are there. They're not for you. They are to signal your intentions to other people. So when you come up to a fucking stop sign on opposite sides and the cross traffic don't stop, it's good to know if the, you know if that car in front of you is going to fucking turn left or if they're going straight or if they're going right. Because if they're going left, I mean, you know, how many times do you see people deal with no signal? And I'm like, well, ain't no signal, so I'm going to start to go. And sure enough, they fucking pull out and slam on the brakes and they're honking at me. I'm like, well, fuck you, asshole. That's why they, and I flip my signal. That's why they make fucking turn signals. Jeez, man, I mean... Anyways, so, I can't tell you how many, I mean, it's been like five, five times in the last couple of years, where I'm, and this is just the times that I've been passing through here, okay, just a major accident at this intersection, because people are probably doing like 40, 50, because that light right there has a uh, red light camera, okay, so, when it turns yellow, people don't go, oh, I better slow down, they fucking punch that gas and go, trying to beat the fucking red light, so, the problem is, people will turn on their signal to get on the highway before they go through that light, okay? Now, I knew from the first fucking time I was ever, the first time I went through this intersection, didn't even need to see an accident. I'm like, well, I better not turn on my fucking right turn signal because some dipshit's gonna think that I'm turning right at the light and they're gonna just go and I'm a dipshit for signaling early because why wouldn't they think I'm gonna fucking turn here? So, five accidents that I've seen there, I, I will bet anything says that person was, and it's always that, like, two lanes, that little expanded on-ramp lane and the fucking inside lane, but it block, they, have to, they block the whole fucking road every time. So if you're trying to get on the highway, you gotta go, like, fucking five miles north just to fucking get to the highway and come back. But I guarantee you, there's somebody coming down that road doing 45, 50 miles an hour, turn the right turn signal on before they get to that light. Some car looks and he goes, oh, well, you know, you know how smart people are and, and, and how uh, accurate they are and they everybody knows what they're fucking doing. They got the right turn signal on. They, but, and, you know, they're doing 50 miles a fucking hour. That's like a fucking, you're not going to make that turn 
at that light at 50 miles an hour, man. Not even 35. I mean, you got to start slowing the fuck down to make this turn. And people just, oh, they're doing about, oh, they're just flying up on with the turn signal line. Yeah, they're turning. They go to plot and boom, just get fucking rocked right in their door, man. In that case, they should just shoot both of them right in the fucking head and be done with it. Take them out of the fucking gene pool, man. Just get it, fucking get it done. We don't need more stupid ass people. We already got more than a fuck enough as it is. Um, jeez, I just, I, and it's like, there's times that I'm coming up on an intersection, someone's waiting there, you know, and I, I and I, as soon as they pull up, I turn my signal on so they know that I'm turning. And like, sometimes I'll even try to point, like, windows down, I'll point, like, hey, I'm turning, or I'll be like, in the windshield, yo, I'm turning here. Just so they know. They don't have to fucking... If they want to wait, they can wait. But for a long time, I'd sit there. I'm like... I'm fucking turning. I'm like, what are you waiting for? I'm trying to be nice and let you know. And then I start seeing this shit over here. And I'm like... Good point. Good point. I don't blame you for fucking waiting now. Because I can't tell you. I get to the end of my street. Dude, I can't fucking tell you how many times. There's a car that's coming up. Now, there ain't no turn for like... A hundred yards before my street, okay? And then past me, there's a turn in for a business, little complex, and then another light, like, within 50 yards by of my street. But it's still, you know, I know that if I'm coming down, I won't turn my signal on until I pass every possible right-hand turn that's, like, the last one, and then turn on. Unless there's nobody pulled up at the edge, and somebody's waiting to try to figure something out, and it's not going to affect anything except, you know, let somebody know, hey, I'm going to be turning. And then I will. But that's it. I pull up to, to this intersection, and there's just that one car, and they're, they're close enough where it's like, well, I, I can't go yet. But otherwise, it's clear, and if I don't go, I'm going to have to wait for more cars. I'm like, well, they got the right turn signal on, and then I sit there, and I'm like, just fucking wait, dude. It ain't worth it. Sure enough, right past me, 40, 50 miles an hour. I'm like, wow. Good thing I waited fucking turn signal on for the last hundred fucking yards. No, nope. They're gonna turn past my street. And the thing is, there's a Wendy's on the corner. It's busy as shit till like at least one o'clock in the fucking morning. So there's always cars coming out of here. And you'd think somebody would go, you know what? If I turn on my right signal, my next turn is in like a few more fucking yards. They're probably gonna think I'm turning here and pull out in front of me. No. You know what they're thinking? Pretend this is a, a cell phone. That's what the fuck they're thinking. Fucking retard. Oh, sorry, I don't. I don't like saying no, so I don't. I didn't mean nothing by that. I apologize. Some fucking assholes, man. Assholes. Fucking assholes, dude. And it really fucking bothers me. I mean, it's like driving to me is like it's like it's an art form. Like, here's the thing. I've been driving for. I don't know, 22 years now, right about 22 years, and I've done nothing but just improve upon my driving skills over that time period. Now, when I started, I wasn't that great, and there's things that, you know, like, I didn't realize early on about not riding people's asses, and then, you know, as time goes on, I learn things, and I get better at it, and it's like, dude, I mean, honestly, if I were going to be a criminal, which I'm not, because, you know, I, I, just, I ain't trying to go to prison. But if I were going to be a criminal, honestly, I'd be a fucking getaway driver. That would be that would be the, the, the spot that I would want because I'll tell you what, man. I can fucking maneuver like nobody I've ever seen, dude. And I can do it fast and safe at all times. And I always, I mean, on the highway, dude, I got my, like, I always sit forward. I got the mirror right here in my peripheral vision. I'm watching in the peripheral vision here. I got my mirrors over here where as I'm driving, I can see all three of these mirrors. You know, I mean, enough to where if something crazy is happening, it'll get my attention. I will look at it, you know. But I keep in my head where everybody is at all fucking times. At all times, I have at least one escape route, if not two, because I want to know. I want to know where the spots are. I think I mentioned it in another video. See, I don't know. What if I just had a fucking dream that I did a video or something? Because I don't remember recording this shit, but at the same time, I don't remember saying it. Unless I was just talking to myself one day, saying, all right, I need to talk about this. I don't fucking know. But I'm cruising down the highway, just flying, doing the speed limit. And um, 
there's this car, this slow ass old fucking pickup truck. And this is that spot where as you curve around that full that all the way inside lane, that third lane just fucking ends and people just ride it all the way out. Don't matter if this car is there or not, they will not get they follow the yellow line instead of going, Oh shit, lane ends in like five hundred feet and then see the last sign. Lane ends with a big fucking red X in it, they're just like Okay, we'll just follow the yellow line. Oh, shit, there's a car there. I got to ride on their shoulder now. No, they just fuck all... I mean, just fucking follow the yellow line. I mean, dude, the lane ends. When you have a chance, get the fuck over. Or if you're right next to a car, man, and you look up and go, damn, my lane's gonna end. Either speed up, slow the fuck down, and move over, you know? No, they'll all... Just follow it out till it ends. And if there's a car there, just fucking force them over, man. They either ride on the shoulder or force them over or straddle, you know, that, that line so they're half in the shoulder and half in the lane and just force fucking people over. Whether they got room or not, don't matter. They got no regard for them. They don't give a fuck. But, uh, as I'm coming along, I'm in the, the middle lane in this fucking truck. There's nobody else around. And I'm just humming, dude. Just, and watch this guy. And he's doing, like, he's, he's probably doing, like, 45 and a fucking 50. I mean, the speed of the limit is 55, but people do like fucking 90 all the time, so you really gotta watch what's going on around you. But uh, this guy's literally, I think he's doing on at least exactly the speed limit, but he seemed like he was under. He's just fucking taking his time. And I'm watching this guy. Something was telling me, my gut and my head said, you know what? Get in the third lane, because I, I have plenty of time to pass him before that lane ends to pass where he's at in that outside lane and then get back over but I was just I, whatever reason I didn't listen to my intuition so I'm cruising along but I knew it I just like I said I always prepare for the worst no matter what I'm always expecting somebody to do the dumbest fucking thing possible so that when they do it I'm all, I already have a fucking escape route I got a plan you know a plan A a plan B and a plan C so as I'm coming up on this guy sure as fucking shit the last possible second the guy just with no signal just goes whoop Jumps into my lane without missing a beat. I fuck. I, I was I was anticipating this. I'm ready. As soon as he comes over, I cut that wheel and blew past him. Never took my foot off the gas, dude. In fact, I actually pushed it down. As he was coming over, I pushed the gas because it takes I don't know about a second, second and a half. Turns like revs and then it goes faster. So it's like as he starts coming, I like I don't want my day. I was like, man, it's a good thing that one of us is fucking paying attention because otherwise that could have been a really serious fucking accident. But, you know, who gives a shit? Nobody fucking cares, man. Nobody gives a fuck on the road, dude. I, don't, I mean, not everybody. I'm sorry. A lot of people out there are good drivers. I see decent people all the time. I do see people who, you know, you know, will let you go first or what, you know, who actually are, are paying attention. So I don't want to knock everybody because it's not the case. It's just those fucking assholes are ruining it for everybody else. Now, I don't know, it's just, but there's so many of them now. You know, years ago, it was like you almost never saw somebody do something even remotely stupid. And now it's like, if I don't see fucking, like, 50 fucking just dumb fucking assholes on the way to work, I'm amazed. Wow. Holy shit. Hell must have fucking froze over. I didn't know. I missed the memo. But, uh, I don't know. Just pay attention. Look around. You put the fucking phones down. You don't need to be on your phone. You know? I, I just, I, if I pull up to a red light, I'm going straight. This phone's gonna fucking die. I swear, it's like I, I have time to record. I don't have battery. I have battery. I don't have time to fucking record. So, anyways, I'm down to five percent again. So anyhow, it's like if I pull up to a red light and say I'm going straight, and I, it's not like I'm turning, so I, I have to be watching, so I can just take off, and I'm, I don't want to be holding people up. If I'm like pull up to a light and I'm going straight, somebody texts me, I pick it up, and as I'm typing out a fucking short, quick response, it's like. Every word or two words that I type, I look up the light, look down, look up light, mirror, look back down, check every two words. I'm looking around, scanning real quick just to make sure. Or like if I'm on a side road and I pull up to a stop sign and there's nobody around. Now, I'm not going to sit there and bury my phone in it for five fucking minutes texting away while I got a line of cars building up behind me. No, 
every two fucking words. Look up, check mirrors, look around, make sure nobody's waiting for me. Especially if it's a four-way stop. So you don't have people that pull up and they're sitting there like, you're going to fucking go or what, dude? So it's like, hey, sorry. I got to go home first and then go to the store. You know, look around you. There's an entire world going on outside of this fucking space, man. Full of fucking people. All the time, dude. Just pay attention. I mean, is somebody's fucking Facebook or Twitter or whatever the fuck people use these days? I mean, is it really that fucking important? It's just a bunch of fucking nobodies. Like me. I got nothing to fucking look at on Facebook. I barely use the fucking thing, but even still... Even if I get some notification, I'm like, I'm gonna check when I get home. In fact, I have no, the sound of notifications just turned off, so it doesn't even let me know. I'd have to actually look at it. And the, the little LED light, I fix it so that, that doesn't show either because I'm, it doesn't matter. If I get a phone call, I look and say, okay, is this something that's fucking urgent? Is this, uh, you know, work calling or something that I, I need to answer right, right now? If it is, I, you know, and I answer, I'm still watching, watching mirrors, looking around, checking behind, checking my blind spots, cruising along, watching every fucking car, even when I'm talking. Now, sometimes as I'm talking, I'm like, um, uh, oh, you know, I might forget what I'm thinking about, but I'd rather forget that than forget that there's a car over here as I'm going to jump the fuck over, you know? But unless it's fucking vitally important. I just won't answer the motherfucker. I don't care. I'm just fucking nobody, man. It's I don't need to risk other people's fucking lives. And that's the thing. Like, if you want to risk your own fucking life, by all means, have a fucking blast. But don't risk all the fucking people around you risk their life because you gotta type LOL, smiley face. You know? Go fucking shoot yourself, dude. That's not fucking important on a highway doing 90 miles a fucking hour. While you're up somebody's ass, you know, you're like, hell no, what? And they hit the brakes. Boom! That's it. You're dead. Or you fucking kill somebody in front of you. Or you might kill a fucking child. Or you might kill your own fucking kid on accident. How the fuck is that going to sit with you? And the thing is, is like, dude, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how the fuck. Every single day on every road, there's not just fucking accidents everywhere. To where the police are just so overwhelmed that they just come up with an entirely new department just to deal with accidents. I don't know how that's not a fucking thing, man, because people have got their heads so far up their fucking ass, I don't know how they breathe. Seriously, I don't. I, I just don't understand it. Driving has always been so much fun to me. I am still just fucking fascinated by an automobile. Granted, they've been around for over 100 years, you know, but they're just so amazing. The fact that you can sit down and with your foot, you can fucking just stop. You st I mean, dude, it's so fucking awesome. The art of driving, it is just, it's so beautiful, man. I love highway travel. The 8094 is a major highway by me. It runs down to 65, which is the one that was all in Indianapolis, and then, like, to Louisville. That one now, <clears throat> up north by me, they've expanded it to three lanes a few years back. Let me check this battery. Oh, shit, 3%. So, they expanded that one to three lanes all the way past Route 30, which is like a major fucking... It ends up turning into a highway as you go down, but it's still kind of like a highway. It's just a busy-ass fucking road that I try to avoid. But, once you get past 65, like a mile or two, uh, past Route 30, going south, you know, about a mile or two, then it jumps down to two lanes. But, I don't really go that way very often, so the part that I use is three lanes in all directions. And... 8094 is just, dude, it's a fucking blast, man, unless it's just, like, traffic. Like, I see, like, I'll get on the highway off of Kennedy by me, and it's like, I'll look, and I'm like, oh, damn, the people that are going the way I'm going, it's just, it's real slow. So for a while, I'd go down and, you know, take back roads down to another on-ramp, and like, that's going fine. Oh, excuse me. Well, I finally realized that everybody's going slow because there's, like, Indianapolis, there's Kennedy, Indy, and Calumet. And all three of these have 
people getting on the highway, and everyone is just up everyone's ass so fucking much that it literally brings traffic almost to, I mean, you're going like 30 miles an hour, because nobody can get in, and nobody can get over to get off the highway, and it's like, dude, coming, like, from the direction of Illinois, like, you get on at Calumet or something, even if you have to go to Illinois, you get off on, you get on the Torrance, and you're heading in Indiana, it's like, dude, Every fucking day, the traffic is down to like 20 miles an hour. And as you're going along, once you get past Calumet, because it's like a couple miles until you get to Indianapolis Boulevard, dude, you, know, you would think there's a fucking major accident on the highway. Nothing. No, not even a police officer with his lights on. Not a fucking person sitting with their blinkers on. Nothing. Everyone is just up everyone's ass so much that this major interchange between 394, which going north, just turns into 94, you know, 8094 and 294, the toll road. This fucking intersection of people. And then you got Torrance right there, too. And if you're coming around, you got to get over to get on Torrance. Or you can just go, if you know, oh shit. Or if you're coming from 394, you just stay off to the right and it'll take you back out to 8094 and you merge up again. And it's like, dude, it is just so many fucking people just so close to each other that you can't get cars in and out. And it just literally every fucking day brings traffic almost to a halt. If these motherfuckers would just space the fuck out, people could maneuver and get over and get on and get off and it would just keep going. Every fucking day from like Torrance or before Torrance all the way down to fucking like Calumet Avenue. And then once you get past it, it starts to pick up again. And then you start getting down by Indy and then Kennedy and then Kleins after that starts fucking slowing down again. You got Burr after that fucking slowing down again. Not until you get past Burr when you got like a few miles to the next exit where it finally opens up and you got that exit lane for like two and a half miles all the way down to Grant Street. It's fucking crazy, man. But anyways, I think this motherfucker's gonna die. I just got off work. We're both jobs, 1%, and I gotta eat, so peace out, y'all. Uh